G'day fellas and welcome to a very rare Drongo POV. Uh, we're going to be playing the English here on the pop up against Kanoki. Uh, he's a pretty decent player. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what he's got up his uh, up his sleeve here for us. Uh, but we're going to be playing as the English, of course. Uh, and we are going to be looking to try and take advantage of our brand new council hall. Let's make sure that we fix that up. Jeez, I'll tell you what, how nice is that new that new uh, town center? Uh, or new town center, <laughs> new uh, minimap. That minimap is looking absolutely beastie right now. Uh, speaking of beastie, what up beastie? How you doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure beastie is, uh, is chilling around somewhere in the world, enjoying the pup undoubtedly. All right, well, this build order is a build order that I'm going to be doing uh, that was actually uh, created by... Actually, the name does escape me as to who it was, uh, but I'll leave a link in the description to where you can catch it. Basically, the idea is I want to be going for a second town center, and I'm going to be going for it super, super duper quickly. Uh, so it's going to be a town center uh, that comes up at 4 minutes 45 as the English. And the idea is that, like, the English are a super duper defensive civilization, and to be honest, there's not really you can do, not, not really much you can do to punish them. So what I'm going to be doing is looking to take advantage of that greed uh, by playing the two town centers and then that's going to allow me to hopefully get ahead on the economy. Now, up against Kanoki here, he's playing the Holy Roman Empire. So that's obviously a civilization which is very much all in. So he might be thinking about doing a bit of a Burgrave. He could be thinking about doing something a little bit different. Uh, but I, I, I'm still confident that our 2TC two two play should be pretty good against him. My only concern is I did see his scout kind of head to the north side of the map. Uh, so I'm just hoping he didn't pick up all of my sheep along there. Anytime someone aggressively scouts me like that, it kind of... Sends shivers down my spine, especially when I don't find any sheep like this. Okay, there we go. There's one sheep. So not terrible. So I'm going to be trying my best to remember the build order. Uh, so let's see exactly how it goes. I just want to say that I love the, the thumbnail from that video that I, I'll be linking. It's so funny. It's like, you know, the meme that's the one that's like, I lived, bitch. It's like, it's that one. It's so funny. And it's got the, the town center. Because the build order originally was, um, it originally came out, um... On, on the old patch before the town centers got nerfed uh, and basically uh you know obviously after the town centers got nerfed well um it, it wasn't possible anymore but they they fixed it up or uh, rather it got fixed up all right we're gonna be good to drop down our council hall i reckon we drop it down right there not a terrible location we're gonna take four vills here we're gonna move these guys down over to stone we're gonna move one villager here over to food I think we can just do one there. Might need a second one. All right, we are scouting like an absolute fox. That is good stuff. Now I'm not sure 100% on on the timing on these uh, these trees. But we'll work our way through it. Do not do not fear. I'm gonna bring these three sheep back and then I'm gonna go scout. I saw that. I saw that. Get back there, you you cheeky little, you cheeky little wood gather or cheeky little stone gatherers. All right, next villager is gonna come out here. Uh, actually, we've got five on wood here, so I think we send the next one out to stone, if I remember correctly. I tell you what, I don't, I don't remember exactly how this build order goes. So, you guys make sure that you follow the uh, the link in the description and don't follow what I'm doing. Follow as I uh, follow as I say, not as I do. All right, let's get those sheep in a little bit closer. We'll murder them in here as well. I made the council hall right. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. So I can send those guys back onto gold or I can send them to, to onto greener pastures. I think I might send them onto greener pastures though. I don't know if I, I want to necessarily go for like a fast castle play here. It could be the play to go for a fast castle, but I feel that fast castle, a little bit dangerous. There's a mine work coming in. I suspect Kenoki's probably going to be looking for 2TC himself. Oh, that's way too many bills on stone, by the way. Uh, I think we probably need to rally a, a couple more over onto wood. He's got three vills on gold here. Prelate under the TC. All right, well, we're almost aged up. I'm kind of tempted just to send this villager out over here because we've got enough. Wait, that, that's not meant to be like that. Okay, hopefully that macro is good. If I can get the town center down before five minutes, I'm going to be happy. Now, the question is, where do I want my town center? And I think the answer is here on this gold. This gold and berries are really, really solid. Now, he had a pretty early age up there, so we're going to see what we can spot out. Obviously, we do see the mine work, and I think the question is going to be, how many vills does he have on gold and how many vills on stone? Those are going to be the big factors here. All right, we're good to go here on that one. Town center coming up, 450. 
Indeed, yeah. Not enough resources. Come on, give it to me. There we go. Beautiful. So we'll throw down that town center now. We might as well leave these guys on gold. Uh, and hopefully, is that going to give us enough? Oh, it doesn't give us enough. I, oh yeah, there's the second TC coming through for Kanoki. So we got a bit of a long distance gather here. But we're going to drop down. And these guys, I think, could just go straight onto food. Uh, and we can start thinking about going for like a food economy. Uh, together with... Uh, together with going Castle Age. The main thing I just need to keep tabs on uh, at this point is just how many production buildings he's got. Because this to me is obviously second town center. We know that much. And we got a pretty quick town center. Now we can go we can go a little bit more greedy. But to be honest, I'm thinking I just want to go go for a... a um, I just want to go for a, a pretty much like a straight... Uh, I, I just want to go for a, a pretty much straight fast castle into knights. I think that's going to be the best play. And he opens with a stable. Not too fussed about that. And I'm just going to start moving these guys over to farms. Alright, there we go. Not looking terrible. So we, we know well and truly what he's up to. Uh, and this, this doesn't really scare me, right? Like, if he comes in with horsemen, that's fine. We just jump in the town center and we absolutely annihilate him. So now I think the question is, do I want to go for upgrades? And I think the answer is probably not. I don't think I want to go for any kind of upgrades like a wheelbarrow or horticulture. I, I think I could. Uh, but I'm kind of just more interested getting up to the castle age, getting my relics. And by the way, isn't my minimap? Like, it's so big, but I love the scaling on it. It's so perfect. They did a really good job with it. So I'm loving this so far. Let's get behind there. Maybe scout out a few more resources. We want to find those relics in particular. We're going to need a couple more vills on gold or a little bit of lag right there. So we're going to need a couple more vills on gold. So let's get those guys over. I think five should be enough at this point. Now we're going to need a stable. There's the second TC. He does have a prelate over there that's buffing them up. At least it looks like he did. And so now we're working towards a three TC fast castle. Or technically it's a 2TC class castle. I think you probably could even play 3TC English. This is something I, I didn't really want to like send public just yet. But I think 3TC English is actually going to be a legit thing in Feudal Age. Just because of the power of the town centers and how strong they are. Let's go down to that corner as well. I think this guy can probably go out over onto wood right now. I can probably even rally. Oh, that's probably too many vills there. Let's just go with eight. And I think we probably want to drop down our stable. Now, we can go into crossbows. That's another thing to note. But I th I think that English... In English... Oh, actually, I think crossbows here are fine, actually. Now that I think about it. The more I think about it, the more I like it. Let's drop down another house. I think we'll get down a stable here as well soon. Where's that stable going to go down? I think we go down on the front side right here. Oh, it's so nice being able to train. Look at that. You can train all your extra units. And we are going to need more vills over on that gold. It's going to be up to 11. I think 10 should be fine, actually. Now, I could have sent a couple of longbows over to harass him. But to be honest, with the timing of the... With the timing of the... Um, with the timing of the stable, I think that, that it would probably just would have been eaten up anyway. We do hear there is something around us. Whether it's a scout, whether it's a horseman, remains to be seen. And now our, ne our next uh, town center is going to be going down right here. All right, so King's Palace going to be going down. Boom. It doesn't look terrible. And we're going to drop down another stable. Let's put it right there. Try and keep things nice. Uh, and we're going to go scout him. We're going to go see what he's up to. But we want to be going for a monastery as soon as we're up to the next stage. Uh, and I kind of want to be more heavy on farms right now. The problem is I kind of need wood for my monastery. That's the thing. So we want to open down towards this position. Remember, we, we, we the most th the thing I'm scared of most right now is that he would look to um, potentially steal away relics. So I want to do everything that I can uh, just to try and keep that back. Now these guys are going back over onto wood. Oh, I gotta I gotta disagree with myself over there. I'm gonna stick like two. I'll stick five. Now once that house finishes, we'll also get from the king's palace. 
Now we can probably even look for our economic upgrades here. Kanoki also reaches the castle age at the same time. So let's go double knights. He could be looking to pick up relics. There's the first. So he picks up the first one. So we're going to look to deny. There's four down here on this side. So I'm going to I'm gonna head my scout down here. He's already picked up the second one. So you can see I'm running a little bit behind time at the moment. So now we're going to drop down our... Um, let's drop down our monastery. Uh, so let's try and hit this one over here. And we're just going to keep tabs on any potential. Let's get a couple crossbows out as well. Look at that. We can train our crossbows. Very nice. And I'm needing more. So we, we know where he's at. We know he's down here. Uh, so we know he went for this this relic. So we're going to send our knights across the field. We're not going to... Don't bother ourselves with these. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Where are all the relics? Oh, God. Where are all the relics? I tell you what. Let's let's go. We'll try and head... Oh, that one's going to be impossible. Nigh impossible, that one. We're just going to keep heading through. Let's maybe split the, split the knights. Oh, we're getting eaten up over here. We're looking for it. I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. We see ya. We don't want to give him any kind of heads up. Okay, we should be able to kill it. Alright, so this is where we're going to be sending all of our units now. Let's drop that down. We'll throw down another one of these. So now he's got two knights out. And remember, all we care about now is going for the prelate. We're looking for the prelate. There, there he is. So we need to go in for that prelate. But we don't want our charge to get tanked here. I think we should have this. We do. And we just get out. Oh, that night. Where was that? Wait, where was my relic? Oh, there you are. I think we sent out one, didn't we? Yeah, there, we, there he is. So that's two, so not terrible. We gotta be careful with these guys, though. Oh, we're popcat. Popcat for quite some time here. This isn't the best. Alright, we're gonna throw down some more production here. Good little charges coming through. This is all because of our council hall. It just makes it so much easier now. And we want to start thinking about our uh, our upgrades now. So I'm going to get a few more villages over onto gold. I might even take five villages over to this gold. Uh, we'll drop an outpost and then... We might even move our knights in that th direction just to cover. What is that? Oh, it's a knight. It's so hard to see. Alright, and we also want to start thinking about a blacksmith. So we might drop down... We can even do double blacksmith at this point. He's going down for that now. So that was a bit of a mistake by me not to... All right, let's get those upgrades in. Gosh, our upgrades are a little bit lacking at the moment. 
So we can be aggressive, I think, at the moment. Our timing window is pretty good here. He's got three relics, and we're going to assume he took Regnitz as well. So let's go see what we can find. That's a lot of knights. We can go for a dive here. There's a keep that's going up. We're going to try and deny it. Oh, this is perfect timing. Oh, this was absolutely perfect. This is a disaster for him right now. So now we're going to go dive the town center. We're also going to pick up our upgrades here. We're just going to make sure we keep our crossbows up towards the north. All right, we're going to move over to this town center now. We're going to see what we can find. There's some more villagers. We're going to rally our units up towards this position as well. Sacred site taken. Next sacred site should be one, two. Where's the sacred site? I don't see it. It must be up here somewhere. Oh shit, he's got stone walls. Oh, this is a massacre. Oh, this is a massacre. Oh, this is an absolute massacre. Stone walls. Absolute massacre right there. Now we are caught, but we can take the high ground. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to bring everybody back here. I think we can push out. I'm not too fussed. The main thing I've got to start doing now is walling up. All right, we need to try and get out of here. Oh, he's got Lanch Connect. I gotta be really careful. That was a bit of a misplay by me. We got a lot of villagers there. There's units here. I think we need to throw down... Is that a keep, maybe, that he's putting there? Doesn't look like it. Let's get this wall up. Oh, there it is. There's that sacred site. Let's put another outpost down over here. We might even think about going onto stone now. He's taking my sacred site. I tell you what, this council hall makes it so much easier. Knights in the north. Now we might need to mix some longbows here, so I'm going to start doing that. I'm also going to look for my longbow upgrade. Alright. Uh, let's throw down another farm. How are our upgrades looking? Not terrible. Could be better. We're going to put our production over here. Nice little spot. Let's see if we can get another outpost over here. We might even push out a bit further with our central outposts. We need to start preparing for a keep, then we're going to go imp. 
I kind of want an outpost right here, right now. I think I can look for an imp here. Is that that never got captured? Let's capture it now. I did see them moving down here. We can probably just look to drop that on food. Let's keep pushing this outpost network forward slowly. We're up to 131 vils, which is very nice. Alright, and now our imp comes through. Wingard Palace, of course. Nice little cleanup here. We want to move more vils over to, uh, to gold right now because we're going imp. We need to start thinking about these big golds as well. They're both down on the south side. Once we've got elite upgrades, then we can look to fight. Until then, let's just cancel all vills because we probably want to start our wing guard. If he's got any kind of uh, siege, or any kind of keeps, we need some some kind of room or something to to siege it down. So I'm gonna just drop down this just in case of a, we need to drop a bombard, I think. So now that our upgrades comes through, let's drop down a university as well. I don't even think we've got our tier one. Yeah, we don't. Let's drop down another outpost, uh, and we can also start thinking about just dropping down a whole bunch of stables here. And we'll also get our. So we just want to go into like almost full stables here. Probably even mana arms wouldn't be terrible, but it's going to be a bit hard for us to transition into it. So I think we're going to take these vills here. We're going to drop a keep down here. And we're going to slowly push out. We're going to pick up our elite upgrades here. Actually, I might go elite crossbow first, and then I'll go into elite longbows. And let's grab our plus ones. Next outpost coming down as well. We're starting, this is where we're falling into that classic English trap of, uh, I was going to say, hold on a minute. So they've got new positions now for some of these things. There's the keep coming up. So we're going to go try and deny that. We've got our elite upgrades. Can we pick up? We can't pick that up just yet. Spearmen are, are out there. We want to try and focus. I mean, our, our numbers here are pretty decent. I think we should be fine. I'm just going to go straight into Horsemen. Because we can just, we can spam out Horsemen. I don't even need to look at the battle at this point. I just need to get that Chival- Why? Why does it keep doing that? I need to get that Royal Blood- Or the <laughs> Royal Bloodlines. Hold on, which sieve am I playing? Alright, well we're looking pretty good at this point. I'm happy with how this is going. And we are securing up the gold that's on the south side here. I want to pull some of these vills. The, these vills are going here um, to a resource that we don't really need. Now we did get a bombard as well at some point. There it is. Now, I think we've got our full elite upgrades here. No, that's only veterancy. Let's get our elite upgrades. Let's also look to get our plus threes. And I'm going to drop a market. This is something I almost always tell people not to do. We've got to be careful. There's some knights right there. There's some vills right there. Let's go say good day. All right. And Kanoki hits Imperial now. I just gotta be careful with this, uh... Why are we making bills? And we're gonna move out here now. 
We definitely need more wood, don't we? So I'm gonna just fix up my macro a little bit here. We didn't get the chance to drop down our market, so we'll do that now. I think we just dropped down pay uh, yeah, palings accidentally. And I'm still making bills despite being at 139. Alright, let's sell some of that food. We got so bloody Oh my god, but we never got enclosures. Oh, Drongo, how could you make that mistake? Alright, these bills are going to come down here. Three. Do we have that next bombard rolling off the blocks just yet? I thought we made another one. I might be wrong. No, we've only got the one. Alright, we can be forcing... Oh, he went... Uh, he went to... Uh, Elsbach. That was not expected. And we haven't even been using this. Oh my god. Oh, we could be making wind win <laughs> Wingard Raiders. We haven't even been doing it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I apologize, guys. I know there's going to be so many of you guys disappointed at my, my lack of of playing of the English and I apologize because this is my first real English game in a long time uh can we let's just keep on going let's get that bad boy in let's drop a keep here let's drop a keep here and oh get there repair 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 <laughs> I do apologize oh that was terrible that was absolutely terrible where's that next bombard Oh, we're maxed out. All right, we're just going to have to go in. We're just going to dive him. We'll go underneath the keep. He's emergency repairing it. A little bit of a suicide. I don't think he's got the bombard emplacement just yet. We'll go for... Let's just go like... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm actually just losing my units. I'm throwing them away. That's not what I want. That's a ram. Man, those long... Those, uh... I tell you what, those, uh... Those upgraded spearmen, they do pretty well, don't they? I think that I think I heard the cannon just going then. As long as he doesn't hit the vills, we're fine. Uh, let's make another bombard, and let's get uh, from here, citadels. What's the range on that? Ten tiles. We're ten tiles on this as well. Why do I have spearmen? Who made these? Wasn't me. Surely wasn't me. Just remember he's got emergency repairs. Now he's starting to hit that. So if I pull this back... And now bring it back out... Does it just res... I think it retargets. Yeah, now he's retargeting this. So now he's got to retarget this. But my villagers are going to be able to hold for it. Tell you what, that landmark's an absolute beast. Uh, what else can I look for in my upgrades? We can look for this one. We can look for that one. And Siege Workshop can look for shattering projectiles. What is that? Oh, the lightweight battering rams. Oh shit, he's got... Oh, okay. That went down quickly. Dude, where's my army at? Why does my army feel so small? We're gonna try and break this L's back down, I tell you what. Takes a bit of work, doesn't it? That's a mango. The madman made a mango. No, no, no. Alright, we got it down. That's what's important. A little bit ballsy, right there. Let's 
Uh, I think we need archery ranges. Oh, he took me out. He's got a cove. Keep running, boys. Oh my, did he just one shot that? Damn, dude. I just reckon we just send knights in. a little bit better we're lucky we secured this gold i'll say that much Killed it. Oh, the keep killed it. What a, what a, that is the real MVP right there, that keep. Oh, he's almost got that ulz back up. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's not good. If he gets the L's back up, I'm not in the best spot. Is that up? I don't think that's up. Oh, that's up. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that came up. Oh, Lord. Everybody back. start making battering rams with that new tech i think we do it uh elite army tactics oh oh he's ggng out i tell you what it like it looks scary man in the late game that l's back oh i think we got a lot of ills over here that knight's been there for a while eco was dead yeah we hit him pretty hard with the knights well there it is ladies and gentlemen that's now Obviously, it's going to need a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, a little bit of, of tinkering. But Kanoki played it pretty well. And at the same time, I like this new English. I love this new English. The Council Hall. Very rare that you guys get to see Drongo play, especially when I haven't played. I'm not kidding you. I haven't played in weeks, dude. It's been so long since I've played. Uh, and even at a competitive level, I think about two weeks. So I apologize if I was, uh, if I was slow, sloppy or whatnot. Let's take a look at the village account economy count yeah so it looked pretty good yeah we did pretty well with the, our raids just going past him hitting with the raids 
take a look at the military count. We were always up for most of the game. How about excess resources? Yeah, we were kind of sitting on up and he was just out of resources at the end. So this is what we talk about when we talk about trading. Often when I'm coaching, I'm telling people that you want to be trading units in the late game. And this was it. You know, we are just constantly killing his units, trying to make him build or rebuild his units. And at the same time, I'm rebuilding my units. But the thing is, I've got such a crazy good economy. I'm sitting on what, 140 vills, I think it was. Yeah, something, yeah, about 140 villages. He's sitting on like 70. I mean, it shouldn't be close, but it was, <laughs> but it shouldn't be. Uh, if it had been, a, if his economy had been a bit, going a bit better than that, I think he done, would have done well. Um, I didn't actually use the new, I didn't even use the new uh, units. So maybe we've got to dive in. Maybe we've got to dissect exactly how good those units are as well. Uh, but uh, other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this not a casted game, this played game, this gameplay. And of course, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.